Hello, I'm Stephen Knight. Today, I'd like to make your work life easier. We're going to do this by enhancing your ability to summarize and report on data by making better use of pivot tables. Specifically, we're going to have a look at calculated items. Now, calculated items allow us to make categories not found in the data by grouping together other existing categories. Now, a little caution here, this feature is not compatible with grouping. So if you've used uh, grouping on your date fields to take transaction dates and summarize by month, then that feature is not going to work with our calculated items. Uh, so you can have one or the other. We'll have a look at using grouping in a separate tutorial. Uh, thanks very much for your attention. I hope you find this useful. To look at creating a pivot table with calculated items, first off, we of course need a list of data, which we've got here. This list of data has previously been converted into a table by going to the Insert tab, choosing Table. Not strictly necessary to have it as a table, but it makes life easier in that if you're updating your data, you can paste new data in at the end. The table will continue on to include the new data, and then we can just refresh our pivot table and have it update its calculations. Now, so we have a list that's, in this case, a table. On the next tab, what we have here is a pivot table that we've made earlier, where we have dropped in the salesperson and the product and the price, and we've added a little, little formatting to get some dollar signs happening here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is clicking on my row labels here. These are the things that we're going to accumulate. We're going to combine LCD TVs and plasma TVs into a TV category and Blu-ray player and surround sound into a home theatre category, thereby making a new category uh, where one doesn't exist already. Now, it's important that I've actually clicked on one of our row labels. You'll see why in a moment. Now, I'm going up to the Options tab in Pivot Tables up the top here. Now, in Office 2007, what we're looking for here is formulas. In Office 2010, what I'm looking for if I go to Calculation is Field Sets, Field Items and Sets. Now, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. If I click on a value, some of my numerical data, and head up, you'll notice I do have some other options related to the fact that I am in fact on values, but in my field sets, field items and sets, calculated items grayed out, where if I come back over and click on my row label, and let's repeat the process, you'll notice that calculated items bold, or not grayed out at least, so that it's actually available. So where your cell selector is, is important. So I'm going to choose here calculated item. And my first item is going to be called TV. And you can see on the right here, you can see the various product categories. So I'll choose LCD TV plus plasma TV. I'm clicking insert item to add it into the formula. I'm then going Add. Now, at this point, uh, I could create my second category. So, uh, But what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go OK, because I just want to see what's actually happened there. So let's go OK. Now, we now have a new row here called TV, which is the accumulation of LCD and plasma TVs. Now, we're double counting at the moment because uh, we've got the accumulated value and the individual LCD and plasma TVs. So I'm coming up to my row labels drop down, and what I'm going to do here is switch off LCD and plasma TV so that the totals don't double count in the report. And 
I'm now ready to add my home theatre category. So again, I'm going up to the Options tab. I'm going to Calculation. Office 2010 here, so Fields, Items and Sets. Formulas is what you'd see for Office 2007, Excel 2007. If I come down to Calculated Item, and we'll call this one Home Theatre. So Home Theatre. And this is going to be Blu-ray Player plus Surround Sound System. So I'm using the Insert Item to add those categories in there. And now at any point in the future, if I wanted to modify these, I can pick the category and choose modify and maybe add in a CRT TVs or 3D TVs as those categories come into our data. OK, so now I've got home theatre. I've still got the same problem here, still double counting, so I can take those two out. So I'm switching off Blu-ray player and uh, surround sound system so that they're not double counted. I just want to see my overarching categories in the report. And I've now got calculated items. New categories that didn't exist in the data that have been created by combining these categories together. Very useful feature. Just remember the caveat that this uh, doesn't work with grouping. So if you've used dates, transaction dates, for example, to group month by month data, summarize in that particular way, uh, it's not compatible with this particular feature. So you can have one or the other. In the next little tutorial, we'll actually group by date so you can see how that works. This is Stephen Knight from trainerscope.com. I hope that made your work life easier by showing you some time-saving tips and features. If I can help you further, and perhaps you'd like to see other topics covered in these tutorials, please contact me at stephen at trainerscope.com. That's Stephen with a V. Or alternatively, via Skype, uh, stephen.knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, dot training. Uh, you can leave me a uh, voicemail on Skype. Uh, and it will actually, I'm trying this new feature they have where it will take your voicemail and translate it to a text message and then it'll send me the text message on my mobile. So please try that. Uh, or alternatively, you can just send me a text message via that Skype address, stephen.knight.training. Uh, so please feel free to get in touch. Uh, I would love your suggestions as how I can help you by putting other tutorials together. Also, uh, I provide training services throughout Brisbane, South East Queensland, all over Queensland and uh, in fact the furthest they've sent me is Perth so hey I'll go just about anywhere so if I can provide uh, on-site training for you or uh, some assistance in some way please feel free to get in touch thanks very much bye for now